two veterans of long-duration missions make up the core of the International Space Station's Expedition 16 crew, and each of them is in a new role for this six-month tour of duty on orbit. NASA astronaut Peggy Whitson, the first woman to command the station, was born in Mount Air, Iowa, and grew up on a farm in nearby Beaconsfield. It's a very rural area. Uh, I saw a lot more hogs growing up than I saw people. <laughs> the closest town had uh, only 32 people living in it. Um, so my high school was consolidated for the whole county. We had around 300 students in my high school. For this farmer's daughter, the seed of inspiration for her career in space was planted nine years before she finished high school. Well, I was inspired by the men who walked on the moon. It really was my inspiration, I think, uh, you know, as a kid of nine years old. I know I'm dating myself, but <laughs> I uh, thought, what a cool job. <laughs> it really didn't become a reality to me, I think, you know, to become a, a goal until I graduated from high school, which was coincidentally the same year they picked the first set of female astronauts. Uh, so I think that was when I decided I wanted to become an astronaut. Whitson earned a bachelor's degree in biology and chemistry at Iowa Wesleyan College, then came to Houston, where she earned her doctorate in biochemistry at Rice University. A year later, she started working at NASA as a researcher in biochemistry, then served as the project scientist in the early stages of the Shuttle Mir program, before she was picked for the astronaut corps in 1996. Whitson's first trip to space was in 2002, when she was a flight engineer on Expedition 5. She performed one Russian spacewalk on that 185-day-long mission and was named the first NASA ISS science officer. Now she's the first woman given the responsibility of commanding the station. Is there any special pressure from being the first woman to command the station? Well, I hope not. <laughs> 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 I think it's special that I, I get the opportunity to play that role. Um, but I think it's also special to have an opportunity to, to demonstrate how many other women also work at NASA. So I'd like to be able to do that as well. The man who commanded Expedition 7 returns to the station in the role of flight engineer. Yuri Malenchika, a colonel in Russia's Air Force was born and raised in the central Ukrainian town of Svetlovodsk. It is a beautiful town built on the bank of the Kremenchuk water reservoir. There are beautiful pine forests uh, growing right on the banks of the river. People are wonderful. Malenchenko left there to study mathematics in college, but after one year he changed his major and his college. Five years of study at the Military Aviation Institute in Kharkov left him ready to join Russia's Air Force. It was exciting, very interesting work. I felt great. There were very good prospects. We were flying many flights in different parts of the country. And it was very interesting. But just four years into his Air Force career, Malenchenko was assigned to the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. On his first spaceflight in 1994, he commanded the Mir-16 crew, conducted two spacewalks, and performed the first ever manual docking of a Progress supply ship after the automatic system failed. He made one spacewalk on the shuttle flight that outfitted the International Space Station's newly arrived Zvezda module in 2000, and served as commander of Expedition 7 in 2003, the first two-man crew to the station following the loss of Columbia. I think uh, the future of the humankind will be closely uh, related to space. So from the point of understanding uh, the future prospects of this profession, it's very interesting as well. Between them, Whitson and Malenchenko bring more than 507 days experience in space to this latest mission to the International Space Station.